Hey everyone, welcome back to Rig Take Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the gold-silver ratio. I have talked about it before and I've talked about how I use it, how I'm looking to uh, you know, do a, a gold-silver trade once the, uh, the ratio gets to about 60 to 1. But uh, that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk just you know, a little bit about uh, the, the history of the gold-silver ratio and uh, just talking about how it uh, has evolved over the years and the fluctuations that we've seen uh, over time. And I saw this chart, and it's a, a cool little infographic. And I have gone on this site before. It's called the Visual Capitalist. They do a really good job with uh, kind of, uh, well, the, like the name says, visualizing uh, what they're talking about. They do a good job with that, with the different topics they discuss. But also underneath the chart and all the visuals, they do have basically just like a full article going over what the uh, the chart goes over as well. So you know, if you're more of a visual learner like I am, I like looking at these charts. But uh, if you do like to read the articles after. Afterwards, it's the, the best of both worlds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump onto the computer and uh, go over this uh, little uh, chart here showing the, uh, the last 200 years of the gold-silver ratio. All right, so here's the website here. It's uh, the visualcapitalist.com. And it says uh, charting the gold to silver ratio over 200 years. And uh, as I said, with the visual capitalists, they always put together these nice sort of infographic things here. And uh, I will go over it. This says also known as, oh, sorry, here it says uh, 200 years of the gold silver ratio, also known as the mint ratio. Uh, the gold to silver ratio represents how many ounces of silver are equivalent to one ounce of gold. Uh, here's how it changed. Uh, here's how it's changed over time. So we got the chart here. And uh, you know it might look a little confusing at first, but just uh, uh, if you look and you see it, uh, you know going up, the bottom part here is just a, a mirror image of it. So it kind of kind of looks like a Rorschach test. So it talks a little bit about uh, you know past 200 years. Uh, since uh, 1687, uh, the gold to silver ratio has wavered between uh, 1400 and 100 uh, to one. And then this sort of uh, line here is uh, July 18, 2022, uh, because that's where this uh, chart starts from. And it says historically the ratio uh, was set by governments to establish monetary value. For example, the Roman Empire officially set the ratio at 12 to one. So I mean, it officially set at 12 to 1, and it was kind of, you know, uh, you can see it was uh, around that for a while. You can see the line was pretty much just going sideways. But it says, early 20th century, it says, once the metal prices started to fluctuate due to market forces, the ratio did as well. So you can see it uh, went up quite a bit. And then uh, uh, just right back down, and you can see where that correlated to. And that was the end of World War I. The ratio was at 18.4 to 1. So you can see that that dip there was the end of World War One, and then you know it was pretty much just all uphill. There's a little bit of a dip here that looks like it's probably the Great Depression, and then you can see it going up all the way to 99.8, uh, which is the start of World War One. So you can see all of this upward movement of the ratio from 1918, the end of World War One, to 1939, the uh, start of World War Two. And then we can see, uh, you know, it goes, falls quite hard down uh, during the war, and then it continues to go all the way down to this uh, uh, crater here, where it's 16.8 to 1, known as, and it's the 1968 gold crisis. And then you can see just a, a little bit more down the road here. Uh, they talk about it down on the, the mirrored side here in 1971. It says U.S. President Richard Nixon ends the gold standard, tying the U.S. dollar to gold. And then uh, the next major point here, a little bit further down the road, is in 1980 with the, uh, the Hunt brothers attempting to corner the U.S. silver market, driving silver prices to a record uh, almost $50, 49.45 ounces uh, before cratering. Now I'd never heard of the uh, this uh, attempted uh, cornering of the silver market uh, until I got into silver stacking and kind of reading up on some stuff I heard about the Hunt brothers. And uh, then I realized that one of the Hunt brothers was Lamar Hunt. I had no idea. Uh, he's basically, uh, you know, the reason why we have the NFL the way it is today. Co-founder of the AFL, which eventually merged into the NFL. And, uh, you know, he was also uh, co-founder of the Kansas City Chiefs. 
And also the, the AFC Championship Trophy is named after this guy, the Lamar Hunt Trophy. So I knew all about Lamar Hunt. I knew I didn't believe the family had oil money uh, down in Texas, but I had no idea that the uh, when I was reading about the Hunt brothers until I read a little bit further in that uh, one of the three brothers was Lamar Hunt. I thought that was pretty cool. And with you know Lamar Hunt being a name that I'm familiar with, uh, I'm just surprised that uh, you know I hadn't heard about this story before about how you know him and his brothers tried to corner the silver market. I really just knew only the uh, the football side of Lamar Hunt. So it says, yeah, from that point with the Hunt brothers trying to corner the market, we can see that uh, for the next uh, decade or a bit there, it uh, the uh, the ratio went up to here. Maybe it looks uh, close to that uh, 80 to 1 maybe because that uh, that dotted line is basically 100 to 1. And then, you know, we see some volatility through the next, you know, 20 or 30 so years until we get to this huge uh, what's this outlier and that is the 123.37 uh, gold to silver ratio that was in 2020 and it says it right here and uh, obviously we know uh, what we're talking about here and what caused that and uh, yeah it you can see it shot up and then it shot right back down but that's basically when I was getting into stacking so when I saw that it was moving basically from like 80 to 1 all the way up to 123 to 1 right back down to 80 to 1 I thought you know maybe this is what uh, you know strap in this is what it's like it was what the gold silver ratio is going to be like all the time it's going to be fluctuating up and down like crazy but basically since that huge spike up we've been seeing it basically hovering between I'd say like 85 and 65 uh, to one, and that 65 to one was base. It was very very quick. I think it only actually got to 66. So in reality, we've been seeing it between like 85 and 70 for the most part since this uh, huge uh, peak up there. And then you can see this dot here is the 78.3, which is on March 22nd. And the thing that I like about the Visual Capitalist is that they do give uh, these info charts here, these infographics, but also they do have, uh, you know, basically a full article underneath it if you just want to read through it. For me, I, I like the, uh, the charts. I'm kind of a visual learner, but I will leave a link to this site because they do have uh, basically like a full article underneath it uh, going over or, you know, to complement the, uh, the infographic. So there you go, that was the uh, the article and the infographic there that I want to show you. And uh, yeah, you can see definitely with that uh, point on the chart up there in uh, March of 2020, where that ratio reached the all-time high of 123 to 1. That was right when old Reg Tag Stacking was getting into the uh, uh, silver and gold stacking and uh, getting the channel going. Yeah, it was crazy seeing it, you know, hovering at 80, then going shooting up to 123, then shooting right back down. I thought, you know, this is uh, quite volatile, but you know, it's uh, let's see how this goes. Let's see if it goes up past you know 130 in the next month or something like that. But uh, everything seemed to obviously uh, settle down and, uh, you know, it, we haven't seen those wild fluctuations in the gold-silver ratio since then. Like I said uh, in previous videos, for me, uh, I, I would like to take advantage of the, uh, the gold-silver ratio to trade in some silver for gold when it reaches right around that uh, 60 to 1 mark. I'm, I've been waiting for a long time. I, I almost pulled the trigger when it got to 66, but I'm like, no, it'll just be a matter of time till it gets down to 60. That, I think that was over a year ago now, so I'm kind of uh, chomping at the bit here to, uh, to do a little bit, because I'm interested to see exactly how it will go, because with the trade like I've said in previous videos if you're going to the LCS you have to actually like sell your silver and buy the gold uh, so you're not just swapping sil straight silver for straight gold so you kind of have to factor in you know premiums as well for the silver and gold but that's uh, beside the point I've talked about that in different videos so I like to know if you like these uh, infos infographic style articles because it's you know just a, a different different sort of way to get some information across that uh, you know is a little bit different than just reading just uh, a regular their old article so I'm always on the, the visual capitalist just looking to see what they have because uh, I do like the uh, the style they go for with a lot of their articles so let me know down in the comments if uh, you are on that site often or if you're gonna check them out now that uh, you've become aware of uh, it because I have I do go on there quite a bit and I like the uh, I like the website but anyways that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you come back for the next one thank you